Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So what we're going to be doing today is talking all about how to stay more consistent as an entrepreneur. You know, it's so easy to fall off that motivation bandwagon and to really slow things down because we're humans and it happens. But what I wanna do is actually give you some strategies that you can use so when it does happen and you do find yourself kind of falling off, you're able to get back on much quicker so you can continue to be consistent and grow your business. And we're actually gonna be making one of my most favorite cocktails today, which is a South Side. So it's a really, really beautiful gin cocktail with mint and lime really great for a nice summer's day like it is today it's actually 30 degrees here in Australia so the perfect cocktail for that so my first piece of advice is you want to have a contingency strategy and what I mean by this is you want to be aware of exactly what you need to do each and every single time you find yourself kind of falling off that motivation bandwagon slowing down and maybe not being as productive in your business now the contingency strategy that I usually teach my clients looks a little bit something like this so first of all, you need to understand the trigger. What triggered you to fall off? What triggered you to stop being consistent? Was it maybe that you got extra busy and overwhelmed? Was it maybe that something happened within your life? Was it maybe that you were suffering from a little bit of comparisonitis? Figure out what made you stop being consistent. And then what you wanna do is you wanna just have complete forgiveness. You know, forgive yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. You are human and it happens. Nobody out there, as much as you think, nobody out there is fully consistent, fully motivated, and fully cheery, you know, a cheerleader, poly positive, 24 seven. It just doesn't happen, it doesn't exist. We all have bad days and bad times. So forgive yourself. Then what you wanna do is realign with your why. Figure out again, why are you building your business? Why are you putting out content? Why are you pursuing all these opportunities? What is it gonna mean for you if you continue to be consistent? And then just make a plan. Make a plan to get back on board with all the things that you need to do and just get to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for this cocktail is chop up my limes here. I love this cocktail so much because it's super, super zesty. We're actually using Tanqueray gin for this cocktail. Now, I'm not a huge gin drinker, but I do like it when it's mixed with a little something sweet and a little something sour. So as I'm making two again today for you and me, babe. So I'm gonna be using four shots of gin in this one. Usually just for one, it's around 60 mils, which is your standard double shot and then we're just going to be using a 30 ml for each drink of the lime then chucking the mint in and then again 30 ml for each drink of the sugar syrup so then my next piece of advice for how you can be more consistent when you are trying to get things done and start your business and grow your business and get your name out there is you need to understand capacity limitations. Now, what I mean by this is, are you trying to do too many things as, at once? You know, as human, we only have so much capacity for how much we can be focusing on at a time. And, you know, doctors and scientists have repeatedly said, you don't wanna be trying to change too much or break too many habits at one time. You know, people who often try to quit smoking and quit sugar and change their diet and do all of these same things at one time because they're motivated by this new lifestyle they wanna live, they often fail because they're just trying to do too much at once. If you find that one of your triggers is that you're feeling overwhelmed and that's why you're lacking in the consistency department, then maybe assess if you are just trying to get too much done. And a great example of this is, you know, sometimes with social media, a huge part of our business, we feel like we just need to be everywhere. We need to be on Facebook and all the groups, on YouTube and podcasts, Instagram, Pinterest and doing all of these things. And yes, while that is the end goal, when you have more resources and a bigger team, right now you wanna be just putting your attention and focus into a couple of areas. So if you find that you're finding it really hard to stay consistent, finding it really hard to create content, then understand that you only have so much capacity and limit that down to a select few that are going to move your business and your brand further forward. So we actually use mint in this cocktail. I love mint in cocktails. I hate mint any other time of the week. So even with toothpaste, even with chewing gum, I literally hate the taste of mint, except if it is fresh and it is going into a cocktail. And I don't know who told me this, but apparently when you're making a cocktail, you're supposed to slap the mint, like slap at a base. Please don't do that. 
slap it in this. But <laughs> um, I don't know what it's for. I think it's so it, all the oils and the flavor does come out a little bit. Now, I've actually also pulled off two little leaves here to preserve as a garnish for this one. So when you've got your mint and you are making a cocktail like this south side, make sure you select the nicest two leaves so it looks beautiful on top. Now, my next piece of advice then is to ditch the Monday mentality. What I've actually found with consistency and those who are trying to be consistent is that when they do fall off and they stop being consistent, they have what's called, well, what I like to call a Monday mentality. And what I mean by this is that you wait for Monday or next week or next month or next year even, or even just tomorrow to get back on track. You need to be living in a moment by moment basis. If you've found that you've fallen off and you've head over to your consistency strategy and you figured out why, you figured out what you need to do to get back on, you don't have to wait for the next day, month, week or year to actually start again. Start again in this moment right now. When you understand that you have the decision to act any way in any single moment, then you'll find yourself getting on track and more consistent a lot quicker than if you're just waiting around for a surge of motivation or for a day to tell you it's time. So of course, now with this cocktail, it is time to shake it up. And again, this is one of those cocktails that you do need to shake a little bit, just so that you are really breaking down that mint and making sure they're all going together nicely. And now I don't actually have a sieve strainer, which is one of the most important parts of making this cocktail so you don't get mint into it. But anyway, maybe we just like to have mint in our teeth. So we're gonna go without today and just enjoy the little bits of mint in this cocktail that aren't supposed to be there. And then my final tip is to have something just for you outside your business. And why I say this is because no matter how much passion you do have, there can be a level of resentment that does come up if you are not taking time to step away from all of the stuff that you're doing to build your business and brand. You know, passion is obviously a huge part of this and it's so necessary for sustainability, but passion sometimes just isn't enough to be constantly fulfilled. And if you find yourself resenting your business because it's focusing because it's your focus 100% of the time make sure you do have something outside of that that is just for you you know whether that is a pampering routine a self-love routine or even just a hobby of some sort make sure there is something that you can really step away this is really necessary not only for creativity but also for consistency because when you come back you'll be so much because when you come back, you'll be so much more refreshed and ready to focus once again. And I know it sounds kind of intuitive because I always talk about why you should be focused and obsessed with your business, but there should just be that kind of one escape that you do have when you are feeling a little bit burnt out, a little bit overwhelmed, and are therefore lacking in the consistency area. Alrighty, let's garnish these babies. It's a big mint leaf for George and a little one for me. Voila, my beautiful, delicious, zesty South Side. So just to recap what I spoke about here today, if you are finding yourself falling off the bandwagon a bit and not able to stay consistent, you know, you might've been super motivated when you started your business, but then you're getting a little bit dry and stale, make sure to have that contingency plan in place, figure out what triggered you, what you need to do to get back on. Also make sure you know your capacity limitations. Don't be focusing on too many things at once. Just limit that focus a little bit to avoid that over Overwhelm, and you'll find it a lot easier to stay a lot more passionate and of course consistent. And then make sure you ditch that Monday mentality. You don't have to wait for next week or next month or next year or even tomorrow to be getting back on track with your consistency. You can do it right now. If you recognize that you've fallen off, just get back on. It can be that simple, but you've just got to train yourself to think that way. And then finally, have something for you. Have something outside your business that you can use to refresh, recharge and rejuvenate yourself so that you can come back as a consistency machine and grow that business and brand. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any other consistency tips, then please do leave them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Two shots of gin. I think it's four shots of gin. Back on. Also make sure, I don't remember the second tip. <laughs> More passionate and of course consistent. And then, fuck, why am I like? <laughs> I'm, I'm so hot. <laughs> I'm sweaty.